interesting to see how he actually pulls off this Mario. So I love watching Zycorn teams. I think I think Zycor, oh, really good teams. right Zycor teams is, is amazing. Like Peaches generally are just better at teams because Peach is a fantastic pe uh, character in teams in the format. Mm -hmm. But Zycor is really like pretty smart in teams in, in a way that a lot of Peaches are at. Like right right there. Like he knows. I'm surprised what to that go forward for. air sent him back on the stage. That must have been an interesting hitbox. I, I love I love this. Like look at him just sort of standing there. He knows exactly what he can do, what he can't do. And you know, he re I'm sure he recognizes like Kels is the best player on the screen by far. Like no offense to any of these players, but I think they would all agree like Kels is the best player here. And oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to get shined for sure. I did too. But again, Zykor doesn't make silly mistakes in teams, or at least he usually doesn't. So again, if you're if you're a peach on the mid-level, I think this is a good person to watch. And again, uh, you can you can speak to DLA, but he seems like a like a relatively intelligent player, you know, in his own right. Well, he's the low tier with four stocks. <laughs> so I like that Zycor just took the free stock there. He said, like, okay, I'm gonna, like, again, he had the option to save Mario or take a stock. Mm -hmm. I think in that case, you take a stock, especially because Mario's at a high percent there. And I'm sure DLA recognizes that. That's Ooh, actually uh, sort of an interesting thing about Team UGS. Like, I know that NorCal players have said this before. Wow, that forward smash. Kels is going to be rocked. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so... So, so that Kels... That was quick. That was... Um, Kels getting rocked there. Like, what the... Wow, okay. Interesting. So, again, the... Uh, the Kells team looking like maybe they don't deserve that number one seed. <laughs> all right, so they're going to try not to lose all four of Kells' stocks in the first, what was it, minute was and a half? <laughs> yeah, it was about a minute and 50 seconds. Um, okay. I was thinking, like, maybe DLA was going to switch to Sheik or, like, one of his other characters for his mix-up, but okay. maybe maybe he is just a Mario main. <laughs> I mean, he got the follow-ups. He got We saw a couple forward smashes, a couple strong down smashes, and, and when Mario gets he was Mario holding on to his stocks, too, yeah. mm -hmm. which... Um, the Our buddy in uh, in Stevens Point, Fade, always talks about how time is such an important aspect yes. of doubles. Yep. Especially if you're just you're making your opponents waste time, that gives uh, your teammate uh, so many different like opportunities. Yeah. Um, and stocks is always more time. Yep. I mean, yeah. Look at this Mario. Like he's not taking damage. He's getting getting sort of stray hits, but nothing bad. Now what so I'm talking about where he did a uh, nair right into down smash. Yep. Very classic Mario techniques. I'm really curious how uh, how Zykor is going to do against. That was a really good knee by Indy. Um, how Zykor is going to do against uh, a good Sheik? Like this will be curious. I think the switch to Sheik was a really like a very logical choice. Yeah, here. I think it made a lot of sense. I think he should have done that for the first game. If he was getting blendered by uh, mm -hmm. uh, by Peach, absolutely. And I think especially like Mario is going to have a lot harder time comboing Sheik. Uh, than comboing Fox. A note, by the way, DLA needs to just die there. Like, he needs to just go down. Like, he's not going to get saved, so Ooh, he's got to recognize rough. that Psychor that took a lot of damage that he didn't need to take because DLA didn't just die and come back. You know what I mean? You see that invisible, invisible ceiling, ceiling forward ceiling, air? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but again, if, if so that's, that's another thing to keep in mind. Like, if you're playing a slow character, like, say, a Samus, that takes forever to recover, and you think you maybe could recover, but your teammate's going to get double teamed while you're recovering... It's probably not worth it to save your, you know, Ooh. that stock. Again, that's, that's I think, the wrong calculus for the point team. Like, that Mario stock is probably not worth, not worth losing another stock for it. All right, and Mario's the only one that got hit by the blender there. Okay. And, again, the target switch is really good there. Good pickup by Ooh. Peach. No, that's not going to do it. Good spot dodge by Zykor. Oh, do you see no. that needle? Oh, he needed to Jeez move forward. Please. Zykor needed to move forward there. Yeah, this is a lost game for the red team. Interesting. It's really... I wonder if the stage has a huge amount to play in this. I think Sheik makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Like, Sheik is, is much... Is much more likely to stay alive than Fox is in this team setup. I think 
Uh, and again, this is, I mean no offense to, to Indy here, but I think, yeah, he's very much like a, a decent Falcon player. No, yo, five stock comeback. Let's see. I, I'm <laughs> not seeing that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm, I'm sort of, yeah, I'm curious how Red's going to react here. I think you're right. I think FD had something to do with it. But I wonder how much just well, playing. Well, the, the decision to shik, uh, switch to Sheik was, uh, that definitely played much more into, like, not only just, like, stage choice, but how commanding they were for I'm, the entire game. And, again, I'm really curious, like, what uh, what that's what that's going to change about, like, the counter pick, for example. <laughs> I thought they were going to pick Story right off the bat. Like, I mean, I can't. You're playing Peach. Like, Story is almost never a bad mm -hmm. choice when you play Peach. Like, there mm. are rare, rare, rare times when I would feel that's the case. I don't know about you. But Where do you I'm, think they're going to go? Uh, I mean, they, they ban Story, which makes sense to me. If I'm Mario and Peach, uh... Uh, Dreamland or Battlefield again. Mm -hmm. I would try to go back to Battlefield if they let me. Ooh. Yeah, I'm yeah sure so I'd no. say it's between Dreamland and Pokemon now. I wouldn't go to Pokemon. That doesn't seem like a good stage to me. Like, I think that's a good Falcon stage, and, and no, no one else on this team enjoys that stage. Interesting. And we're clearly having a Ooh. close... Okay. Interesting. <laughs> we have Pokemon. Ten bucks says Zycor opted for Pokemon. I bet he did. I'm just really curious. I'd love to hear why at some point. He likes playing uh, on Pokemon because of the stage swaps. Yeah. Because a lot of it is really awkward, and if people are outside of their comfort zone, it just lends to him getting great, more down smashes. Great knee by Indy there. He's, he's sort of the wild card here. Like, if he cannot lose these stocks and do this... Ooh, we needed a strong knee there. If he can do that, then I think we're in a good place. Great pickup by Kells. Yeah, blue team, blue team looking strong here. Yeah, all of a sudden Falcon, Falcon playing like All Star Falcon, like very hard All Star Falcon, like double jump, stomp, double jump knee. To be fair, if Falcon's going to be the aggressor, that's all he really has in teams. <laughs> Besides the Randy support me. Right, which which again is is better, like you say, if he's support. Uh, if he's playing offense, his mix up is double jump, right? Like I might come at you now or I might double jump. Interesting. I thought that was gonna be a neon Peach's shield. I I gotta be honest, kinda looks like DLA is falling apart a little bit. We saw like what was that, four forward smashes in a row? I think if I'm if I'm red team, I'm switching gears and, and trying to double team Falcon because Kels look like, looks like he's willing to stay away. Yeah, see that that right there, like that's that's an unfortunate situation. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good pickup by Zycor. He's got to get this edge guard though. Ooh, that's rough for Mario. Yeah, Mario's just got to get away. But again, Kells is not going to engage unless he has to, and I think that's Ooh. what the red team should take advantage of. Wow, that was really solid. So again, they're not doing too badly, all things considered. All right, Zycor had to take that stomp just to save Mario there. All right, and yeah, see, I don't like engaging the Sheik like that because this is death. Yeah, interesting. I think, I think staying in the middle and letting... Uh, Letting Sheik kind of, you know, stay by the ledge, which is what Kells would do if you let him. See, he'll stay over there. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think Zycor should leave leave Kells alone. Interesting. I like the I like the down air. I like the pickup. I like the down smash. Yeah, see, Kells is smart. He knows, like, yeah, I'm just. You know, I can play the waiting game. My partner has a free combo game on both of these characters. All right, DLA needs to get up there. So that's three times this uh, this game that DLA has has basically let his uh, let his partner get comboed by Sheik. 
that shouldn't happen three times. Like Sheikah's slow. Like her down throw takes forever. You ought to be able to interrupt that, and that's and that's on DLA. Like he should be able to interrupt Kelly because Kelly's slow. Okay. Stock takes Sheik. Uh, stock tanks Sheik is a little scary. All right, so Zygor's got to get over there. Ooh. I thought that was it for DLA. Yeah, there. me too. But you know, when you're Mario at 190, sometimes you can't get your follow-ups. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure Kelly knew that. And then, all right, this, yeah, okay. Well, it was a valiant effort by Red Team. But, but as soon as Kelly switched to Sheik, I think that sort of <laughs> sealed it. They just couldn't get it back together. Like, they played a lot better game, too. It's just, I don't think they, they got together. They got a game plan. Ooh. Oh, those needles are rough. That's cute. Ooh. Inch, Ooh. No. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Even Kelly Sheik won't lose this matchup. Mm. I'll watch him pull a stitch or a bomb or that a beam sword. would be perfect. That's classic Zykor. Yeah. I mean, trust me, I'm, I'm these. all about this. Nothing's default. <laughs> that was... I don't know what Kelly was doing there, but... Oh. You can just, like, get hit and that wave dash scary. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, waited, waited, baited. Yeah, but he held in. He shielded the eyed in on the blender. Like, I don't understand why you do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the down air. Let's go, Zykor. I still have no faith, but let's go, Zykor. That was perfect. Do it yeah. again. Yeah. Do right. the down smash again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, jubilant fuck you, Kelly. And, uh, seals the victory. All right. Well, cool. Very entertaining. I